back, it's Brian from Brian's Action Figure Reviews here, and today I've got a new Marvel Legends review. It is from the Mr. Hyde Wave, and it is from Marvel's Contest of Champions. It is the Civil Warrior. Now you may be wondering why there is no Build-A-Figure piece. It's because I bought him without it. Because I don't plan on building Mr. Hyde as I'm not really massively familiar with him from the comics. Which is funny because I'm not really familiar with this guy either. I know he is um, a concept character from Marvel's Contest of Champions. One of those like pay to win kind of games. Browser games I think. I have never played it myself. I'm sure it's decent. But what I thought of him. I thought he was pretty cool. I thought it was an Iron Man armor. Done as Captain America. But it's actually Captain America. Um, yeah. In an alternative art. In an alternate art. Art ravaged by Civil War. Captain America assumes the mantle of Civil Warrior. So yeah, he picks up an Iron Man suit and goes to kick ass. And as you can see on the side, he looks really cool. And just a nice character to have on the shelf, really. If you see on the other on the other way, the rest of the wave, you've got all the guys from Shang-Chi. And you've got Death Dealer. And you've got the Tony Stark AI as well, which I tried to get to, but I couldn't get it. I'm sure I'll come around on that one again. But uh, yeah, Game Reverse Wave as well, I should have pointed out, to follow up with uh, Miss Marvel and I think it was Captain Marvel and the others from the previous wave, they were the previous one of things, ones I think, but um, yeah, so let's get this fella out of the box. So guys, here is the Civil Warrior out of the box, uh, he looks pretty cool, I really am glad to have bought him. Uh, let's take the shield off for a moment and show you that, as it is. The only accessory that comes with him. There is a nice bit of detail on the back, as you can see there. It's really, really cool. And it does have the thing, if he had a peg on the back, which he doesn't, you could have pegged it into the back of him. There's some nice really detail there. On the front, it's full of scoffs and stuff. It looks really cool. And of course, you can see the, the arc reactor thing in the middle. This is, of course, from Marvel contest of champions i'm not aware of it fully i think it's a browser game it's one of those where you play like every 24 hours or whatever and you can pay to win so looking at the civil warrior himself it's quite basic it is a it is a redo of the hydra cap one of these uh but it, the colors are really nice I probably could have done with a bit more red the blue here there's like a there's like a weird feel to it like Kevlar armor here on the legs and when you go around it's the same here on the body so I thought when I saw this figure first I thought this was all like robotic and now I'm beginning to think maybe it's not maybe that's material and he's got like iron shins or something and there actually is a person in here obviously so it's more like um it's a mesh of Captain America and Iron Man's it's like Captain America with Iron Man's suit over it kind of again i want to talk about the red because you only have it here in the feet or here on the hands i should point out and down here on the feet the ankle balls now the belt is brown if you look under the arms the arm is red there as well so it's very strange it's in a lot of our odd places the mouth is pretty cool as well no, it's not just on the giants. Very strange. I, I would have liked more red going through it, maybe instead of the silver. It would have made it really pop out. But I suppose you use the shield for that. So looking at him with the shield, he's pretty nice. I still think it could have done with more red. Articulation wise, it's pretty standard. Looks down, it's up. And get a bit of tilt and go all the way around. No bice or uh, no butterfly joint, but it does go all the way around with that does have a bicep swivel and a double jointed elbow which goes that far back hands go around and in and out down and up he does have ab articulation which goes all the way back and all the way down waist swivel does have a tie swivel as well legs will go out this far they will go up this far which is a nice bit he does have double jointed knee. Can he kick his own butt? No, his legs get in the way. 
No boot swivel, obviously, because this is all one solid piece. Legs go up, legs go down. And you have an ankle rocker. So, he is a pretty decent figure, has to be said. Will he stand out on the shelf? Yes, that's why I wanted him. He will stand out on the shelf. And it's a cool concept to have of two of the best heroes in Marvel to, like, have a figure that's basically the best part of both of them. Now, he does not come with a lot, accessory-wise. The shield is probably enough, but I'm, I don't know, I, I would have liked a gun or something, maybe, as well. <laughs> or a laser blast or something like that. Because he does look very, um, uh, scant in the box. And, and th this guy's gonna peg one. Don't, don't be under, <laughs> under a any illusions, like... But I did want him because it's cool to have stuff like this sometimes. Like, I know it's 100%, it's awesome to have all your favourite heroes and their classic costumes and stuff. But sometimes you look at a figure and you're like, that's actually really cool, I kind of like that. And you just want it for yourself, which is what I wanted this guy for. And he definitely fits the bill. Here he is next to a regular X-Men sunspot. So it's about the same height, so you kind of get the... You get the um the message. And if you want his actual height, he's just under six inches. So yeah, he's pretty standard. He'll fit on any of your shelves really. Um I'm still not even sure where to put him. Thoughts in the comments would be nice. And speaking of that, guys, drop a comment, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and also if you're feeling extra generous, hit that notification bell, stay notified, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.